kind of a weird p person to ask because even in the cancer metas back in close beta, I was still enjoying the game. Overall, in terms of eSports, I think the game is on a really, really good stage because of comp like healthy, like really healthy competition and like similar things like that. In terms of balance, I mean, it will always because of this. There's so many different abilities. There's so many different heroes. It will always be like this, like defined type of thing meta where this like this comp is like extremely strong. Like a balance, uh, trying to be equal like with everything, like not any OP characters. I think I think Blizzard is doing like. Really, really great. I think it's, I think right now it's everything good. I think the state of the game is pretty balanced in a way. You can play different comps, but I think Anna is overpowered. The PTR patch is exciting. That one v one mode is going to be such a like game changer in terms of people getting better. The three v three mode even will definitely increase synergy. You'll see players just like start three v three maybe amongst their own teams. The biggest thing is that Sombra is going to change everything. So for me, the most exciting thing is always learning new things and just getting a different experience. That's pretty much what Sombra's gonna be. Yes, definitely. I think if they do their Overwatch League right, they're gonna have a set, like maybe 10 maps at maximum that rotate from uh, month to month or anything like this. So you don't have to like practice all the maps all the time because it's way too hard. Let's just say that I already think that the maps is already too much, but as we saw here on BlizzCon, we pretty much only played the same maps over and over, and it was like a map pool. I would, I would rather see, see the map pool like being limited, so you don't have to practice all of the maps. Playing so many maps, like for example, if you're not good at capture point, you can just not play capture point at all, and you have King of the Hill and Payload still. But the problem is like, there is no way you can practice everything. You don't have time for it. So you have to, to kind of decide. So have like a ban pick system, it would be so amazing. From a competitive standpoint, it's hard to practice that many maps, be ready for all those maps, especially if you're not getting a good pick ban scenario. It's very, it, there's, I don't want to say it's RNG, but it creates like this weird dynamic where maybe your team was really good at Toronto, but they suck at Eichenwald, but you didn't have a choice to ban or get rid of Eichenwald, so you get stuck playing the maps that you're not good at, and that might just influence the map. And I don't think maps should be deciding which team is better at the end of the day. Some people always have bad maps and some people have good maps, but if you play the game enough, you'll learn them enough by just playing like solo queue as well. So I don't think it's bad. More maps makes it more interesting in the map ban process. I know the casters and analysts like that. So I think it's still good for the game. I don't know. They've really covered a lot of their bases recently. Um, scoreboard. The scoreboard? The scoreboard. <laughs> Scoreboard? The only thing I could really say to change is just like make alts take longer to get. Because a lot of people complain that the alt is like spammy. And like, if it's not about ultimates, it's more about like positioning and team play. And then you save that ultimate if you're really in a pinch to like try and get that last push. If they take the speed out of their ult, that's gonna be fine. She's gonna be real good. Uh, she's still gonna be super strong, but she won't be like 100 person pick. Rank still has its issues, but they see. I feel like they know that Ranked has issues. It's not like a surprise to them. And if they're gonna start pushing the ladder as like a way to gauge skill, like an act, like an actual Madden NFL rating kind of thing, like they're gonna need to make adjustments to make it like legitimate. Every time uh, we have like a beat patch, it's like everything changes. You have to change everything because there is like newcomers. Uh, New heroes to play, kinda like for, for example now with Sombra, it's gonna change a lot everything again. So it's really hard, but I think Blizzard is really, it's re like it's doing it like really, really, really good with everything right now. I mean, I like the invisibility part to go away, you know, but <laughs> no, not really. But we don't know, don't know yet. <laughs> I don't know how it's gonna play out, but uh, no, 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 not really. Well, they've started adding stats too, so they're starting to take the UI a lot more seriously. It's starting to pick up. They were working on the UI during this event, so they were taking feedback while it was live from the casters. So I think it's just a matter of time before we get all the basic stuff we've asked for.